Okay, I'm sitting here uh, in Santa Cruz, uh, Portugal, by the beach. Uh, just kind of giving a kind of recap of some of the stuff we've done and seen in Portugal so far, and the, the ease or the difficulty in which it has been to uh, maintain a carnivorous diet here. First of all, I like to say that Portugal, I had no uh, sort of previous knowledge about Portugal to, to any any degree. Okay, so I am in uh, Aracera, Portugal, which is about, uh, 30 minutes north of Lisbon. This is uh, this is the Atlantic Ocean we're staying right next to here. This is apparently one of the top surfing places in Europe. So apparently big swells and big waves here. And so I'll let you guys know what we find in Aracera and uh, how we can kind of keep things on target with with our with our diet and exercise. I right, guess so. Uh, more to come. So just walking through the streets of Aracera. I mean, see, it's kind of these cobblestone streets. Pretty typical for the area. It's about, uh, well, it's early Monday morning. It's about 55 degrees out here. Cars coming by, so there's no sidewalk, so hopefully we don't get run over. All right, day two in Portugal. Uh, dinner last night, we had some uh, beef cheeks and octopus so i ordered it i just didn't eat the sides so it's pretty easy it's actually surprisingly uh, relatively inexpensive here uh it's probably about half the price of what you pay in the u.s uh for for the same meal so it worked out pretty well uh, off to a place called santa cruz today and then off to a place called mafra to look at some uh i guess kind of impressive uh, architecture and whatnot so anyway down to breakfast in a few minutes where i'll be having uh bunch of eggs and some meat again typically which is quite you know that little buffet down here at the hotel another nice day by the Atlantic Ocean here so anyway we'll talk to you guys soon so at the little seaside town of Santa Cruz Portugal It's been a really lovely, lovely country full of rolling hills, history, the, the castles, uh, seeing neat towns like uh, Aracera. Sintra was particularly, I thought, uh, one of my favorite places to visit. You know, it's got a, a number of neat castles and uh, really uh, impressive, uh, you know, just the area is very impressive on a hill in kind of almost like a jungle with, with the vegetation, which is in, just next to the sort of rolling hills of the coastline. Uh, sad to see there's not cows in all the hills where there very well could be in my my opinion But I think the cows are a little bit farther inland, you know as far as doing a carnivore diet It's been quite easy. You know, I brought a bunch of uh, uh, Dried meat with me just in case you know because I wasn't sure what was what I was gonna find but it's been exceedingly easy to find plenty of meat and Surprisingly the, the prices here are quite affordable compared to the US. I'd say they're roughly about half particularly, you know when I'm looking at restaurant prices I uh, was able to get wonderful meals, you know, huge steaks for, you know, 20 bucks or something like that. And whereas in the, in the U.S. you would spend, you would spend, you know, 40, 50, 60, even $80 or more uh, for the same uh, cuts of meat. Uh, the meat's been very good. For for breakfast, you know, we're staying in a hotel in Aracera. Pretty much I've had kind of omelets, you know, ham and cheese omelets or fried eggs and some, well, their bacon is not really bacon in my view. It's, kind of, it's more like just cooked ham. Uh, but, but other than that, it's been quite good. And then while going out, you know, just had some you know, really, really nice, nice places with some picanha, some tomahawk ribeyes, uh, octopus, squid, uh, a lot of shrimp. Seafood around here is, is, is quite prized, as you might imagine. You know, it's been, it's been quite easy, quite honestly, to do carnivore. Now, I will say that, you know, I haven't sort of been really um, just saying, you know, get rid of the size. I just, I just, however it's prepared, I just eat it and then I'll just scrape off the stuff I don't want. So sometimes the steaks will be covered in, you know, vegetables or seasonings on top. I just scrape those away as I don't particularly care for them, but I've been able to eat them and it's been quite good. I've had really no problem at all 
uh, with uh, with staying carnivore. So it's been it's been quite good. I would definitely recommend Portugal as a place to easily do a carnivore diet. You know, the, the the meat culture and the food culture and the seafood culture here is quite strong. I saw you know very little. <laughs> In the way of vegetarian uh, type fare, there was some stuff on the menu, just a few token dishes, but definitely, definitely it's predominantly uh, meat and seafood heavy. And then of course, you know, wonderful cheeses and things like that if you tolerate dairy. So this has been uh, a really, really easy place to, you know, find this stuff. So anyway, if you're looking for a carnivore vacation, I can say that Portugal will definitely fit the bill. Take care guys.